Phenomenological Research Definition Types Example Characteristics and Limitation In this video, you will learn What is phenomenological research? Examples of phenomenological research Types of phenomenological research Characteristics of phenomenological research How is phenomenology research design used? What is the purpose of phenomenological research? Data collection methods in phenomenological research. Limitation of phenomenological research. What is phenomenological research? Phenomenology is a type of qualitative research that requires an in-depth understanding of the audience's thoughts and perceptions of the phenomenon you're researching. It goes deep rather than broad. Finding the lived experience of the phenomenon in question depends on your interpretation and analysis. It builds on the assumption that the universal essence of anything ultimately depends on how its audience experiences it. Phenomenological researchers record and analyze the beliefs, feelings, and perceptions of the audience they're looking to study in relation to the thing being studied. Only the audience's views matter, the people who have experienced the phenomenon. The researchers' personal assumptions and perceptions about the phenomenon should be irrelevant. Examples of phenomenological research. Business situations. For example, the technique is commonly used in branding research. Here, audience perceptions of the brand matter more than the business's perception of itself. In branding-related market research, researchers look at how the audience experiences the brand and its products to gain insights into how they feel about them. The resulting information can be used to adjust messaging and business strategy to evoke more positive or stronger feelings about the brand in the future. In sociology, researchers aim to better understand the audiences they study. An example would be a study of the thoughts and experiences of family members waiting for a loved one who is undergoing major surgery. This could provide insights into the nature of the event from the broader family perspective. Types of Phenomenological Research Design Existential Phenomenology Hermeneutic Phenomenology and Transcendental Phenomenology Let's study them in detail. Existential Phenomenology focuses on understanding the audience's experiences through their perspective. Most common type used in a business context. It's most valuable to help you better understand your audience. Hermeneutic Phenomenology focuses on creating meaning from experiences through the audience's perspective. Used to gain a deeper understanding of how your audience perceives experiences related to your business. Transcendental Phenomenology focuses on how the phenomenon appears in one consciousness on a broader, scientific scale. Used for non-business scientific applications. Characteristics of Phenomenological Research Design a focus on the audience's interpretation of something. The focus is always on what an experience or event means to a strictly defined audience and how they interpret its meaning. A lack of researcher bias or prior influence. The researcher has to set aside all prior prejudices and assumptions. They should focus only on how the audience interprets and experiences the event. A descriptive emphasis on research insights. Research reports tend to be in-depth. The researcher should describe the phenomenon through the eyes of the audience as comprehensively as possible. Connecting objectivity with lived experiences. Researchers need to describe their observations of how the audience experienced the event as well as how the audience interpreted their experience themselves. How is phenomenology research design used? It is useful for topics in which the researcher needs to go deep into the audience's thoughts, feelings, and experiences. It's a valuable tool to gain audience insights, generate awareness about the item being studied, and develop new theories about audience experience in a specific, controlled situation. What is the purpose of phenomenological research? To gain insight into the experiences and feelings of a specific audience in relation to the phenomenon you're studying. These narratives are the reality in the audience's eyes. They allow you to draw conclusions about the phenomenon that may add to or even contradict what you thought you knew about it from an internal perspective. Data collection methods in phenomenological research. 
observing participants as they experience the phenomenon, interviewing participants before, during, and after the experience, focus groups where participants experience the phenomenon and discuss it afterward, recording conversations between participants related to the phenomenon, analyzing personal texts and observations from participants related to the phenomenon, Disadvantages of phenomenological research. Researcher bias is difficult to avoid, even if you try to remove your own experiences and prejudices from the equation. Bias can contaminate the entire outcome. The results can be difficult to summarize and present due to its qualitative nature. Conclusions typically need to include qualifiers and cautions. Relies on audience experiences, so its accuracy depends entirely on how well the audience can express those experiences and feelings. Can be time-consuming. Interpreting the data can take days and weeks. Audience studies are typically very small. This results in a small data set that can make it difficult for you to draw complete conclusions about the phenomenon. Thank you for watching.